Uh, hi, in this quick video, I want to show how you set up code review agent on your repositories. Uh, you can access the code review agent from the left side navigation tab. And if you're on this screen, that means you have already connected Bitto to your Git account, where you can see the list of repositories that the Bitto has access to on this screen. For most users, the default agent should work really well. You can simply select one or more repositories and enable those repositories for the code review. Once you do that, Bitto will automatically start reviewing the pull request for those repositories. If you want to customize the agent settings, you can click the edit for that specific agent and it will open the agent configuration view. There are general review settings that lets you turn certain review settings are off. Um, there's a filter settings where you can specify files, folders, source or target branches that you want to exclude from the reviews. And then Beto also runs a set of tools to uh, complement the AI code review, such as Secret Scanner, and you can turn those tools on or off in the Tools tab. Uh, let me go into a bit more details of what the review tabs allow you to do. You can, for example, turn off or turn on automatic review when the PR is created. You can turn on or off the incremental review, which is essentially the review when more code is committed to that specific pull request. And you can also turn off the automatic summary and the walkthrough that the Bito creates. If you want to create a new agent for a certain set of repository, uh, you can say I want to create a new agent. Let's say I want to create an agent for content repo and uh, agent for front end repo. And for these, this agent, I want to exclude, for example, automatic summary and change walkthrough and also want to turn off a secret scanner tool. So once I define my agent settings, I can select uh, my front end repositories that I want to link to this agent. Uh, so I'll select these three repositories here. I will enable these repositories for the code review. So now you can see that there are two agents running. The default agent is being used for a certain set of repositories and the new front-end agent with a different behavior is being used for the set of repositories. So that's a simple way you can uh, create as many agents you want 